Let us check how we can actually sign up for an account in AWS. So you just Google for Amazon Web Services or go to aws.amazon.com. So here I am going to aws.amazon.com and then uh, you click on create an AWS account. Here you can give the email address. And then give some account name. I'm giving it as IT versity demo and continue. Here you can either choose professional or personal. In this case, I'll be choosing personal because most of you will also be personal. So I'm choosing personal here. And we need to give the phone number. So let me give, give my phone number. It is uh, 6828025353. This is my temporary number. So don't try to call me on this number. And then uh, we need to give the address. Okay, Texas and the postal code seven five zero one nine, and then check here, and then create account and continue. Now it will ask for credit card uh, or debit card number. In this case, I'll be freezing the screen. You can give your credit card or debit card number. If you are a non-US customer, then the page might be a bit different. So keep that in mind. Once we pass the credit card number, it is asking uh, uh, that, uh, to enter this uh, code so that it makes a call. It will take a bit of time. So once I enter the characters, it has given a call to me and I have to enter this number or the phone. So I entered the number. So now it has identified, uh, it has verified my identity. And there are three plans. One is basic plans, second one is developer plan, and third one is business plan. I'm choosing a, a basic plan which is free. And boom, I'm inside the AWS with an account. Now I can click on sign into the console and give the email ID. Click on next. Enter the password. And now you are inside the AWS. So we successfully set up the account. From here we need to understand a bit about uh, this screen and then we'll take it further.